You know what? A pool would be a great idea to uh, head out to this afternoon with the kiddos and make sure to wear the SPF because we are going to see some of that bright sunshine, especially as we get the day started. And a few more clouds will be building overhead this afternoon, very similar to what we saw yesterday and hoping that we do get some of those showers and thunderstorms even right here in the metro to kind of cool us off because we are going to be nearing record highs once again today after we tied that record high at the Sunport yesterday of 103 degrees. Right now it's 644 in Silver City looking pretty nice with that sunshine out in the or that sunrise off in the distance low 70s on the board for you right now relative humidity at about 37 percent and we do have that north wind coming in at nine miles per hour temperatures are relatively cool up to the north into the 50s from cortez to taos we have the mid 60s in santa fe albuquerque at 72 at this hour and then down across the south and east Roswell, Carlsbad, Hobbs, you're all in the mid 70s. Enjoy it right now. Get that early morning exercise in within the next hour or two because heat advisories are in effect once again through this afternoon or through this evening. And we are expecting those daytime highs to be pretty dangerous this afternoon as they climb up to about 105, 106. Satellite and radar still showing mainly clear skies and dry conditions for the most of us and we are tracking just a couple of these sprinkles that continue to diminish in and around Tucumcari and just to the north of Fort Sumner so really not a whole lot to write home about but again we could see more of these showers and thunderstorms really favoring the higher terrain a little bit later on this afternoon we still have this ridge of high pressure this heat dome strengthening over the state today and that means we're still going to remain unseasonably hot as we go throughout the afternoon hours with temperatures running a good 10 to even 12 degrees above average for this time of year, but the good news is I do think we will see a better coverage of some of those showers and thunderstorms as we go into the afternoon and early evening hours, and then as we go into Thursday, those storms will be favoring the mountain zones and temperatures will start to cool ever so slightly, but across the southeastern quadrant of the state, we're still going to be dealing with some of that extreme heat. 102 in Fort Sumner today with 88 up in Ruidoso, 105 in Roswell today, 103 tomorrow, 104 on Friday, and we're back near one hundred degrees as we go into the weekend. TRC, you're at 104 today with Deming at 105, Silver City in the mid 90s, and then up in the four corners, we have the low 90s in Window Rock, Gallup at 95. Grants here at 93 with a couple of hit or miss showers and thunderstorms. Farmington, pretty much the same uh, scenario for you. Couple of isolated showers and storms late this afternoon with highs topping out near 100 degrees. We're at 91 in Los Alamos, 96 across the Española Valley, 97 in Santa Fe with a 20% chance for a couple of hit or miss storms late this afternoon. And up in the Northeast today, we have 104 in Tucumcari, 94 in Roy, upper 80s in Mora with Raton back around 93 degrees. And in the East Mountains, low 90s in Sandia Park and Cedar Crest with Mountain Air at 94. And in the Metro, 102 in Berlin, Los Lunas, 101 out toward Bosque Farms. Corrales, you're right at that century mark with the heights topping out at 99. Rio Rancho, we're in the upper 90s today with a 20% chance for some isolated storms. And then that storm chance will increase for Saturday at 30% here in Albuquerque. And then temperatures finally cool into the mid 90s by early next week.